Published 0500 est, the 30th of November 2017. Updated 0748 est, the 30th of November 2017. With the average age for a child to get their first phone now just 10, young people are becoming more and more reliant on the smartphones. And a worrying new study suggests that this dependence on the technology could even be affecting some teens' brains. The findings reveals that teenagers who are addicted to the smartphones are more likely to suffer from mental disorders, including depression and anxiety. Scroll down for video with the average age for a child to get their first phone now just 10. Teenagers are becoming more and more reliant on the smartphones. And a worrying new study suggests that this dependence on the technology could even be affecting some teens' brains. Stock image The researchers took brain scans of 19 young people diagnosed with internet or smartphone addiction and compared them to 19 healthy controls. Twelve of the addicted participants received nine weeks of cognitive behavioral therapy. Participants also completed tests to measure the severity of their addiction. The results showed that the addicted teenagers had significantly higher scores in depression, anxiety, insomnia, severity and impulsivity than the controls. The brain scans also showed the levels of gamma aminobutyric acid GABA, a chemical that slows down brain signals, and glutamate glutamine GLX, a chemical that causes brain cells to become more electrically excited, in each participant's brain. Previous studies have found GABA to be involved in vision and motor control in the regulation of various brain functions, including anxiety. Results showed that addicted teenagers had much higher GABA levels, and lower GLX levels than the controls. This suggests that these chemicals are highly linked to smartphone addiction. Researchers from Korea University in Seoul have found an imbalance in the brain chemistry of young people addicted to smartphones and the internet. In the study, the researchers took brain scans of 19 young people diagnosed with internet or smartphone addiction, and compared them to 19 healthy controls. Twelve of the addicted participants received nine weeks of cognitive behavioral therapy. Participants also completed tests to measure the severity of their addiction. Professor Hyung suk lead author of the study, said the higher the score, the more severe the addiction. The results showed that the addicted teenagers had significantly higher scores in depression, anxiety, insomnia, severity and impulsivity than the controls. The brain scans also showed the levels of gamma aminobutyric acid GABA, a chemical that slows down brain signals, and glutamate glutamine GLX, a chemical that causes brain cells to become more electrically excited. In each participant's brain, previous studies have found GABA to be involved in vision and motor control in the regulation of various brain functions including anxiety. Results showed that addicted teenagers had much higher GABA levels, and lower GLX levels than the controls. This suggests that these chemicals are highly linked to smartphone addiction. The researchers found that GABA levels decreased and GLX levels increased in addicted teens following cognitive behavioral therapy. Cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, is a talking treatment which, according to mental health charity Mind, combines cognitive therapy examining the things you think and behavior therapy examining the things you do. CBT starts by breaking down a large problem into smaller, more manageable areas and then works to stop any negative thought processes. In this study, short CBT sessions conducted on a weekly basis over nine weeks decrease GABA to GLX ratios significantly. The findings follow a study earlier this week, which found that people are so dependent on the smartphones, and in particular Wi-Fi, that they'll happily break social etiquette to use them. Researchers from mobile connectivity firm iPass surveyed 1,700 people in the US and Europe about their connectivity habits, preferences and expectations. The survey found 83.5% check the phones in bed and 6.5% during sex. Shown here are the results 62% feel anxious when not connected to Wi-Fi 7% admit to checking the smartphone during sex 72% check the phone from the toilet 11% have checked the phone during a funeral 61% of mobile professionals say that Wi-Fi is impossible to give up more than for sex 58% junk food 42% smoking 41% alcohol 33% or drugs 31% 23% would choose Wi-Fi over other daily essentials 
skills such as a bath shower, with 19% choosing it above human contact researchers from mobile connectivity firm iPass surveyed more than 1,700 people in the US and Europe about their connectivity habits, preferences and expectations. The survey revealed some of the most inappropriate situations in which people have felt the need to check the phone during sex 7% on the toilet 72% and even during a funeral 11%. Nearly two-thirds of people said they felt anxious when not connected to the Wi-Fi, with many saying they'd give up a range of items and activities in exchange for a connection. 61% of respondents said that Wi-Fi was impossible to give up more than for sex 58%, junk food 42%, smoking 41%, alcohol 33%, or drugs 31%. A quarter of respondents even went so far as to say that they choose Wi-Fi over a bath or shower, and 19% said they choose Wi-Fi over human contact.